everybody, you are watching Matt talking. We are here with Brian, Tyree, Henry. Got it. There we go. Yeah, I had to get it right. <laughs> All, good. All right. So I heard from a little bird that you, that you on Broadway in New York. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a show called Lobby Hero right now with Chris Evans, who plays Captain America. I'm sure you know Michael Sarah, Bell okay. Powley. Uh, I literally left there last night, and I'm in tech, and then I leave here tonight and go back to tech, but I couldn't miss the premiere for Atlanta wow, and Atlanta, so, wow. yeah. yeah. All right, all right, paper boy. I got to call you paper boy. All right, I call him Alfred, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is so distinctive about season two that we didn't get in season one? That's hard to say, because, like, I don't think y'all expected what y'all got in season one, either. No, we didn't. So, I mean, if we're going to keep it on that line, y'all ain't going to expect what you get in season two, either. I mean, our lives are different. And, and the thing is, y'all went on the journey with us. So, right. we're going on the journey at the same time, and y'all going to see the same thing. Like, that's what the greatness of this city is and what this show is, is that we're constantly going on a journey right. to figure out what it is. And that's exactly what's happening this season. Okay, and you went to Morehouse, yeah. and then I heard you also went to Yale. Yes, yeah, school. Okay. Yes. And education is important, and it's funny that you experienced both. You had an HBCU and a PWI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I went to all black schools my whole life, from elementary all the way through college, okay. and then I went to Yale. And uh, at the same time, it was just like uh, nobody said I couldn't do that. You know what I mean? Like I was, like, I'm gonna do what like people like to put limitations on you and say that you can't. And I'm not the person that hears that. Yeah, we're not same as Alfred. Anyone. Like he's not about that. And uh, right. and I think that that's the strength of who we are. Like it's like you know, you want to put that hurdle in front of me? Cool, I'll build my own or knock it down, and then we're gonna make a way in our own way, make your own lane. So all right. that's what we're trying to do. Now season one did numbers, right? Numbers, high numbers. What do you think? What are what are the expectations of season two? <laughs> in the context of numbers, like. Yes, like what are the expectations? Like, do you think the audience is really gonna like either love it more or are they gonna receive this information? Anytime someone does it again, you know, they always gotta take it bigger and, and be better. I, I I mean I hope it still feels as personal as the first season. I really do. I hope you know, we, we kinda try to reflect Paperboy's journey a lot like our own, like where it's like, Oh yeah, you put out that first mixtape and everybody's like, Oh shit is hot. What else do you have? And then you're like uh, okay, like I'll try and make something like I did the first time, but things have changed. So I hope it, you know, I hope it still does well. But I, I think, I think it's gonna be like, you know, maybe it'll be like, like college dropout, and uh, you know, like, like that. Well, no, I mean, I feel like our, like his second album, like late registration, where people are kind of like, what is this? And then, you know, they revisit it because I feel like it's very different from the first season in a lot of ways too. What's up, everybody? We are here with Stephanie Robinson, the writer and producer of Atlanta. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Your earrings blinging. Okay, I see you. Trying. <laughs> Keeping up with you. Hey. All right, so tell me, you know, just being, I heard you say that you were not really from ATL. So when you wrote, you know, and just being a producer on this show, what did you learn about Atlanta that you didn't? No, before well, I grew up in I grew up in Georgia, so Marietta Roswell. So I do I do have experiences in the city, and I think I mean I think all of us in the writers' room just have super different experiences and viewpoints and right. different things that have happened to us, and we learned a lot. I think mostly about each other, you know, and you know we were shit like you know. I spent time like in Helen, Georgia, and those guys I don't right. think even knew what that was, and you know the restaurants and you know things that we all kind of shared. I'm learning a lot all the time from them. So what is so distinctive about this culture here? Ah, it's that's a great question. <laughs> I think it's it's so unashamed of who it is or what it is, and I think that's I mean, and that's I think true of every city, but there's something about Atlanta that just is more authentic than I think about any other city yeah it's the realest what's up everybody we are here with philip maximilian did i say it right you did hey i like the eyebrow good how are you good all right now look what did you learn about atlanta what did i learn about atlanta the city i learned that people here are incredibly lovely really? and warm yes oh my god really? it's like it doesn't matter where you go you go into a diner you go into a store and people just make you feel like you're part of their family that's good i love it that's very interesting now is this your first time working with like a majority black cast yeah i would say it is where it's just like i mean it's a majority of black cast and, and how how was that experience for you Incredible. It was incredible. I got I got into the hair and makeup and immediately I was like, this is this is the shit. This is great. <laughs> I know that's right. Did you get any soul food while you were down here? I did. How, how was it? What'd you eat? I had fried chicken. I had um, 
biscuits and gravy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's all stuff that we don't have in Germany. So <laughs> that's what to say. How did chi- how did the chicken taste? Seasoned? <laughs> well seasoned. Well seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now just tell me, um, just for the last question, tell me what is something that you think we're gonna learn that is so incredible um, from this season. Season two has a lot of surprises coming up. I mean, I I binge watched season one probably like all of us, right? And um, season two really is unpredictable. You don't if you think it's going one way, season two has you completely surprised. Yeah. So, so you, do you would you say it did a better job than season one? Do you, do you I feel love that? season one. I love season one. So uh, I think you're in store for a lot of really good TV. What's up, everybody? We have Matthew Barnes right here. Now, you play the character of Lucas. I do, yeah. I play the character of Lucas. So what are we, the audience, are going to like about um, Lucas? I think Lucas knows how to have a good time. He is a talent manager in the same way that Ern is. And he's been doing it a little bit longer, so he's learned how to play the game a little bit. Knows how to charm the right people. And I think that he can teach Ern a lot. He and Ern go way back. And not in every way, though. Not every way. Not every way. Okay, so you mentioned charm, like, so would you say that you relate to that character at all? You tell me. <laughs> you do have charm. You can relate. You really would. Thank you. I'm kidding. My mom would be really embarrassed of me. Um, I, um, I don't really know. I think uh, I like to talk to people and make them feel welcomed right. and, and cared for. And, and I think maybe if charm comes along with that, it's really just about being um, interested, genuinely interested in other people. So Definitely, definitely so. And I've been asking this question all night long. What did you learn about um, the city of Atlanta just working on this film? Well... I think not not necessarily only exclusive to Atlanta, but what I love about the show Atlanta is that it has such a specific point of view about what it feels like to be black. The surreality that black people feel every single day and how sort of out of the norm it is in regards to the way people should be treated. And I didn't really know that because I've never really experienced it myself. I've always just treated everyone that I've met and everyone that I've been encountered with uh, in the same way. But to know that uh, these are types of people, these are people who are going through this type of struggle was really enlightening and I'm glad to have been a part of it and to know more about that culture than I did before. Would you say it changed the perspective of the culture for you? Certainly, and and not only being a part of the show, but living in Atlanta specifically, I'm mean, around a much more uh, diverse population than right. from being from the Northeast where I'm from in, in right. uh, Ro- Rhode Island, Johnson, Rhode Island, 401. And um, I'm glad to have that perspective now. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, you guys heard it best from Matthew Barnes. This is Matt talking, y'all. Don't forget it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.